In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to overview nine of the significant changes in the interface or operation of the program with the transition to PowerDirector version 19.1. This affects users of PowerDirector 19 and PowerDirector 365. What are some of the changes you might want to be aware of? Well, first of all, when you look at the screen, you notice on the upper left side, you have some red dots by some of the rooms. What are they all about? They basically indicate that you have effect packs in each of these areas. So I'm going to click on the effects room for fun. And notice I have a color LUT and a blending effect pack. If I click on the transition room or another room, here I don't see it until I open it up. And then if I drag down, I notice I have several packs installed. So this helps you understand which packs may or may not be installed in your copy of PowerDirector. We'll go back to our start and we'll look at another change. Another change is that we have fewer icons representing these rooms and some are moved. The title room and the transition room icon have been moved up, probably acknowledging the fact that most users use those two very, very often. And there are several that seem to be missing, but not exactly. If I click on the three dots, I see the word more. I click on that, and this is how I can now get to the voiceover recording room, the chapter room, or the subtitle room. They've decided not to clutter the main interface with those elements anymore. There's another item that we have, and that is that we often find that if you are eligible for Shutterstock access, this icon will be in this media room all the time. Now you can remove it, kind of. Let me show you what I mean. If I right click on it, I can click on Hide in Library. And now it's hidden. And it, I have extra room for the things that I really want. If I still want to access Shutterstock resources, I can click on the download file and click on Download Media from Shutterstock. The only catch here is every time you open PowerDirector, it will reset and it will populate that icon in the box no matter what. But if you want to get rid of it for that editing session, that's an easy way to do that. Let's look a little bit at the right screen. We, this is slightly changed. We used to have an area that had two buttons. One was clip mode and one was movie mode. Those are gone. Now you can still change from one to the other by using the page up and page down keys on the keyboard. You notice right now we're in clip mode, which means this one clip is highlighted. If I press the key to change that, now it's grayed out. I'm in movie mode. We'll go back to page up and change to clip mode. But we do have something else that we never had before. This is a render preview button, and you can even change the aspect ratio of the rendering when you do that by clicking on the down arrow. Let's see what happens when we do render preview. I'll click here, and render preview will pop up. It will begin to render a preview of my video. You notice the green area that's under my render preview and the thing that you have to be aware of is when you click on this button it will render it from the point where your cursor is your time indicator to the end of the project it will not necessarily render the entire project so wherever this time indicator happens to be in your project that's the area that will be rendered and we see it obviously in green here so that's a change in that particular tool Let's look at something else. I want to go to the particle room. And let's let's pick a particle. I'm going to go down and choose something else here. Okay, let's take this cloud, dialog cloud, and I'll move it to a lower number track. Now I want to do some editing of this. I want to change it. If I hold and drag on any of the corners it will maintain the aspect ratio. If I hold on any of the sides and drag, it will change the aspect ratio. And again, if you make a mistake, do control Z to get it back to what you wanted. But that's something different. So you can control 
changing the proportions right here on the screen by dragging on one of the sides rather than one of the corners. Another thing that's different is you notice these pink lines that pop up when you're trying to position stuff. They're very helpful, but if they get in the way of you positioning it exactly where you want, you can hold the Alt key down and it will ignore those. We won't see them anymore, and now I can position regardless of where these snap two lines are. By holding the Alt key down, it ignores them, it overwrites them, and I can position precisely. It won't simply snap to the nearest line because the Alt key turns that particular feature off. You'll also notice another change up here at the very top. We don't have an option to create a disk. If I click on the Produce button, it will take me to my Produce screen. And when I go there, I now have Create Disk as a subset of the Produce screen. So they've realized a lot of users don't use this very often, so they've simply taken it off the main screen and placed it back here. To get back to the original start screen, you just click on the Back to Edit arrow on the left side, and that will take you back to your editing screen. Another option that they want you to be aware of is now you can instantly change the height of your tracks if you click on the left side in the track bar and double click it will change the height of that particular track. Let's give us some more space so we can see better. And double click again. It's kind of an on off. It'll go from small to large. You can still adjust the height by you putting the mouse over the edge and adjusting it any way you want to to be a little bit more precise on track height. But again, you can change the height of it very quickly simply by double clicking to the, to the right of the uh, block and double clicking again to move it back. So those are some of the changes I've noticed that are the most significant in the modification of the interface and operation of the program in PowerDirector version 19.1.